Hello everyone, today I am going to tell you something on electric propulsion system, especially that is for electric vehicle and hybrid electric vehicle. As you know that we are studying a minor course related to electric vehicle as well as uh, this video is very helpful to the uh, final year electrical students who have selected the subject as electric hybrid vehicle. So today uh, we are going to see something on electric propulsion system. As uh, we know that in propulsion system basically uh, there are electric motors okay, and the power converters and of course to control them there is electronic controllers. So here you can see the electric motor okay, and then a power converter that is power electronic converter and then there is electronic controller right. So basically uh, electric motor is uh, converting electrical energy into the mechanical energy and through the transmission system that is mechanical transmission system our vehicle is going to run right and this is also going to be vice versa so the motor which is having capability to convert uh, uh, you know in the reverse mode that means the kinetic energy is converted into the form of electrical energy so that we can have the regenerating business also and from time to generate electricity to charge uh, the battery in case of a while you are running your vehicle uh, downstream okay power converter is basically used to supply the electric motor okay and the control basically power electronic converters control is in the hand of electronic controllers and the electronic controller is uh, basically divided uh, you know uh, uh, the function of electronic converter is basically divided into uh, three part one is uh, sensing okay uh, sensing means like uh, uh, sense the speed spend uh, sense the braking sense the acceleration uh, try to sense the temperature try to sense whether uh, you are uh, operating in regenerative mode or not whether you are uh, expecting the high speed or initial torque so the temperature you know all, all these parameters are going to be uh, uh, sensed by the electronic controller system and then after sensing this it will be converted and communicated to the processor through uh, interfacing circuit okay so uh, basically in electronic controller we have sensors okay interfacing circuits uh, which is going to communicate from sensor to uh, the processor okay and processor uh, gives output signal that is um, basically you know some kind of conditional uh, digital signals which are given to the power electronic converters and according to uh, the signal the power electronic converter is going to control the motor whether you want high torque whether you want high speed whether you want regeneration etc so uh, basically uh, electric uh, vehicle propulsion system includes you know this the uh, mechanical transmission system that may be differential and all then there is a motor then there is power electronic converter and electronic control so uh, you know the choice of uh, uh, electric propulsion system whether it is electric vehicle or hybrid electric vehicle basically depends on manufacturers okay uh, as uh, we know that in earlier design stage we had already studied so i'm telling you briefly over here i'm not going in detail for that uh, the first factor that is uh, expectations of the driver so basically the driving cycle uh, design stage that means uh, it requires you know your driving profile acceleration period maximum speed you want the torque want the uh, you know gradient you want to uh, drive your vehicle uh, as well as uh, you know the range you want etc second thing comes while uh, vehicle selection comes that means electric propulsion system selection comes then uh, there are many constraints involved like you know volume the size of the vehicle the weight 
without uh, a driver and the passenger as well as you know uh, the capability of carrying the load whether you are going to use that for passenger or whether you want to have uh, the vehicle as a loading vehicle okay so uh, there are various factors associated and one of them is energy uh, sources also so which type of energy source you want to have in your hybrid electric vehicle or whether it is electric vehicle so uh, you can see here uh, the diagram and that says uh, you know uh, there is a transmission and differential system and this transmission and differential system is communicating in uh, bi-direction that means two-way communication is there mechanical to electrical electrical to uh, mechanical and that goes uh, the communication you can see here it goes to the electronic controller also as well as with the electric motor also that means the sensing some of the part that happens through the wheel and transmission and differential system and it is communicated to the motor also so electronic controller is uh, communicating basically to the energy storage system electric motors transmission and differential and the uh, you know the speed i mean the wheel okay and electric motors uh, depending on and the criteria depending on the factors as we had already discussed it can be um, dc motors injection motors srm pmsm pmbm pmhm etc okay and, uh, and depending on CAD design and whatever the characteristics is there, FEM is there, force, thermal, graphics, and EM is also there. Uh, well, uh, the communication between electronic controllers and electric motor, uh, depending on the selection of motor, whether it is DC or AC, and, and the converter comes into the picture that is chopper, inverter, PWM based uh, controller, cyclic converter, and uh, maybe you know the rectifier. Okay, yeah, that depends on the energy storage system also. The electronic devices, that is, power electronic devices which you are going to use, that depends upon the potential, the frequency at which you want to control, and, and the current rating of the electric motor. All right, uh, electric controller can be of many varieties, having varieties of softwares and hardwares. You can see here, we are not going into the depth of it. So, and this is overall, uh, you know, you can say the block diagram of electric propulsion system where a varieties of uh, selection criteria is being considered for selecting, I mean, you know, for selecting the electric propulsion system, okay, 